Alright, so I'm pretty sure I bought the wrong flashlight. First of all, it got lost on Amazon. So I can't even get it anyway. Um, where's this other one? Okay. So this is a, a convoy that zooms. Um, so, interestingly, I've seen people reviewing this with other LED choices. Uh, I would think you would want the SFT40, but I might be wrong, I don't know. Anyway, this is kind of a funny looking thing. But, uh, I'm pretty sure just uh, basically, uh, I'm not sure what, What battery it uses? Let me see. Is it gonna say? Um, a twenty-one seven hundred. See, I don't. Can you just go up to like a twenty-six six fifty? Or, I mean, what's the point of these batteries? I don't know. Maybe I'm just ignorant. Anyway. So I mistakenly ordered this thing, and I basically want a laser-like precision beam. I guess what they call a LEP or whatever. Anyway, um, this one here uses the SFT40, but it's at 6500 Kelvin, which I think is too white, uh, but that would have been okay. Uh, unfortunately, I ordered the more expensive one with the larger LED at 500 Kelvin, which is probably not going to be really throwy. It's probably going to be more floody, and since it's not a zoomable flashlight, you're not going to be able to focus it. So, now if you really want to get the haters all stirred up, you just talk about zooming flashlights and how great they are. And, and how amazing and then and, and they just they'll, they'll turn around and attack you and tell you you, you don't know anything <laughs> and you know it is what it is yes I don't know anything I have not spent years collecting and buying flashlights like I have ham radios um, but I have spent years using stringer streamlight flashlights working on vehicles for years so I'm quite accustomed to cheap flashlights and ones that aren't going to hold up and stuff like that. And I don't really think any of these particular flashlights, Convoys, Workos, Sofren, or any of the other highly rated ones are really going to hold up any better if you were to use them in automotive. I think you would really be better off to buy, you know, cheap flashlights or, you know, buy the $150 Stinger. You know, I mean, I've got three or four of them. Um, I was looking at, like, like this one here, and I'm like, well, it's pretty thick. Um, but the problem is, when I go work on a car, and I don't need the light, I don't want to have to hold this thing down for five seconds to turn it off. I just want to go on, off, on, off, on, off. I don't want any strobe. I don't want any of that crap. I do, I do want to be able to dim it down if I need to look at something where the, the light is too glaring. Um, so, a lot of these flashlights don't really offer what I want. So what I kind of thought this might be good was because it uses that Andrule 2.0, which you know um, allows you to program certain parameters. And um, apparently on this one, the light itself can be like turned into like an auxiliary light. So, like, if you were working with telescopes and stuff at night, you could probably turn it on red, and it would uh, possibly work for viewing things without adjusting your eyes. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm just, like, thinking, I'm like, okay, when, when is it worth it to spend three, uh, 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks on a flashlight, you know, when, like, 
that's made in China and, you know, like, here's the thing a lot of people don't know is that the Stinger Streamlights have a lifetime warranty. The company is in Pennsylvania. They don't make them here, but, well, maybe they do, some of it, but anyway, there's a lifetime warranty on them. That's why they're 150 bucks, And, you know, I've got four or five of them, and some of them have never needed anything. One of them, the only one that doesn't work right, just doesn't charge on board anymore. I just take the battery out of it. So, you know, you're not going to get that out of these things. Um, so, why would you want to spend close to that on any of these? You know, um... There's no warranty on these. I mean, like, maybe, you know, 30 days from Amazon, maybe a year from the manufacturer on some of them. Uh, you know. But it's kind of like, well, um, when, when, when do you decide, like, oh, well, you know, oh, this, this, this flashlight here, this $40 flashlight is way better than this $20 one, you know. Oh, don't buy that thing. Oh, my God, that thing has a zooming lens on it. What are you thinking? You know, it, it's just really funny. You know, you read all this stuff on the Internet and on the forums, and you read the postings of these people attacking these other people, asking questions about certain things. It's just really sad. So um, I've kind of, like, you know, jumped in on the flashlight thing, but I'm starting to quickly lose interest because of the way that the people um, seem to carry on about them and, you know, how they treat other people and stuff. And it's like, it's really uh, interesting. Uh, basically, I just, um, not even sure why I was even interested in the first place. Um, I honestly can't even remember what caught my attention to the, uh, the flashlight thing. I think... Maybe it was an ad from Harbor Freight for their overpriced flashlight. Harbor Freight has a uh, $29 flashlight, and it's got the old USB on it. It says it's 1,800 lumens, and um, I thought maybe Harbor Freight wouldn't exaggerate, you know, about what it does. Well, it is 800, I think, normal, and then 1,800 on turbo for you know 30 seconds or something the way they have their setup I think that's what got me interested and I started to look on Amazon and then I uh, I must have went to Walmart and found this Naboo and it checked all the boxes for me um, the USB-C it even has a battery bank it uh, it's pretty bright. It has a zoom function. It doesn't zoom really far. In fact, they stopped it to where it won't do the square window thing. Um, so it stays round in all of its range. So it's actually really bright, a very well-focused flashlight. And when I bought that, I thought, wow. So at the same time, I'd also bought this little cheap one here that actually works as good as my stream light, but, you know, it has the hot spot in the middle, and, you know, it's not what I would consider, you know, like, I don't know, how do you describe this type of beam, where there's, like, a clear, defined edge. It's very, like, thorough. So this one here stops like right about there before it starts to get square which is cool um so it's still got pretty good throw and myself personally i never had a flashlight like that before i just had all these ones that would look like this one where you turn it on and you've got the hot spot in the middle and you know, they're good for walking around at night or whatever, you know, and they flood all over the place and, you know, everybody sees you coming, you know what I mean? And you got a stupid strobe on it and the only way to turn it off is to go through all the settings. So that got me to looking and thinking and, you know, so I decided, oh, what's this one? 
So it had already been on the Convoy website and all, a couple of the other ones because um, it had been recommended to me. And I was kind of put off by ordering from AliExpress or from China or whatever. And they didn't really have them on Amazon, so I just was like, I dismissed them, you know. So anyway, I, I saw this one on here and it was like nine bucks, and I'm like, well, it's eighteen six fifty. It's small. It's zoomable. It's the dual switches, so it means I can turn it on. It's kind of got a little bit of a greenish tint to it, but it's actually very bright. And then you can zoom it down, and then it kind of takes on the shape of the really weird LED that's in there. So. It doesn't really throw like a serious beam or anything. And you got to toggle through to turn it off. And what I really want is one that has no strobe, no flash. And it, um, you turn it on and it goes to the brightest setting. And if you want to dim it down, either long press or, you know, something like that. Like the stingers. The stingers are, you know, I had a stinger for the longest time. I didn't even know that it had anything but on and off. And uh, one day, somebody showed me, oh, you hold the button down for a couple seconds and it will ramp down to the next level and then the next level. You know, I, I didn't know that. So, um, I just always use the thing on full blast all the time. But there was, I don't think there was any instructions with it or I didn't bother reading them or whatever, but that's how I want a flashlight to work. I don't want strobe. Okay? I, I don't want any of that. I, I really don't. I want it to be high, low, medium, and off. And what I want it to do is as soon as I touch the button, again, it's off, on and off. One one press, and, and don't have to hold it down for a duration. So, but they don't really seem to want to make them like that. So this one here was the first one that I bought where I was like, you know, that one's actually pretty bright. Um, and it zooms pretty far down to the square so and there's a little bit of spill around it you know and there's not a lot and this one you know I could push it once after if, it, if it's been on for 20 seconds it just turns off and I I really really like that uh, but that one didn't really have that much throw so I ordered a couple of other ones that uh, recently got here and this was one of them and I turned this one on and it says a 26650 and I said you know I think this one might be a lot brighter well, let's see what it looks like when we zoom it out well it goes to that and then you keep going it goes to that I'm like wow imagine if it just went a little bit further and so I thought this one was pretty interesting but the problem was, you got to go through all the settings, or you have to long press it to turn it off. And I thought, hey, that's stupid. So, then I had this one, which I thought was another 26650, but it's not. And it's got a nice little display on it, shows you what's going on. And it focuses down to a blinding dot. Um, and this one, I thought, when I first saw it, that this has got to be the brightest one. I think it is. There's lots of chromatic abrasion. But I don't really care at all. Um, maybe it's just it's very, very white. But look at that. I mean, that's like ridiculous. And at night, this thing looks like a damn lightsaber. And then after it's been on for a second or two, one press, it's off. So this has become my new favorite. Unfortunately... I ordered the only one that there was. It was seven dollars, and the other one that I ordered um, was a lot more. So basically, this flashlight does what I want it to do, and it really checks most of the boxes that I want. Um, It really, really, really pinpoints. And you can turn it off immediately. Um, I wish all the other ones were like this, but they're not. So, 
Um, I'm not sure if the work coast is capable of like being set up that way. Um, I'm not sure that I'm really going to enjoy the way it works because you can't zoom it. And I don't know that even if you had the SFT 40, is it throwy enough? Um, you know, and I think that the answer is probably not, and that you either have to have a zoomy or what they call a lep, and I don't really know anything about that. But um, I've sort of just kind of just jumped into this, and you know, I go in phases with different things, and, and we review stuff on the channel, and I share my adventures with you guys. You know, I I'm not sitting here telling you that I have the answers. I'm telling you, I have discovered this, I've discovered that, I learned this, I learned that. Um, you know, so, and also, just like everybody else, I make mistakes. I may say something and be completely wrong. Uh, but anyway, I suppose this might be here tomorrow, or maybe it might not be. Um, I thought about ordering this one instead and try the 6500 um, but I have a feeling this is probably not the flashlight that I want so I'm gonna wait and see if the other one shows up tomorrow um, if I really like it then I think I probably will buy this one and take a chance with the higher Kelvin and see what kind of throw are we gonna get out of this how does it compare to a Zoomy? You know? Because these people keep talking about all this stuff on the internet like, you need to have this flashlight for this and this flashlight for that and Zoomies are unreliable and don't do this and don't do that. So, I, I'd rather be able to say, okay, listen to everything you said, I tried it, and this is what I think. You know? So... Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll test out a few more. And um, I don't know. I, I can't think of anything else really to try other than I'd really like to get one of these rated at 5,000 Kelvin with the SFT 40. I don't want the SST. I don't want the um, the Cree. Um, see, uh, I don't know what this LED normally looks like. Is it domed? Now, I think there's another one that might be even smaller that might actually be better, which would be the SFT-20, maybe. Um, I wonder if actually Convoy might have it on their website. Um, let's see. Yeah, so right here. And I almost think that this might actually be what's in the other flashlight. Because I've never seen anything else that has the round die stamp. So, there's other stuff too. I'm like, hmm. SFT70. And this is the one that everybody wants right here. The one I'm talking about. It's $3. Um. I don't have any problem soldering one of these to one of the flashlights or something. So maybe I should look about getting some of these. And then the other thing too, I think which is probably great with convoy, I think you could just go ahead and buy this. All like that, and you're good to go. Um so yeah, 16 millimeter, 20 millimeter. Okay, so let's say uh, we want 16 millimeter board. Is there a difference in price? No PCB. Three dollars and eight cents with no board. Three dollars and fifty-two cents with a board. Um, I'm buying a board, and you know, you could always modify the board, but like if you take your flashlight apart and open it up and see what's in there. So. I would totally love to take one of these and put them in one of these cheap flashlights. I think that that's going to be like maybe one of the next projects I would like to do. Um, 
and try I don't know some of them have a voltage requirement or something that can be an issue so I think maybe that's one thing that needs to be taken into account but um, let's take a look at this one this thing's a dollar let's see what that one looks like is it gonna give me a picture of it no I want to see what it looks like on the damn board okay and only in 6500 interesting uh, this is it the SFT 12 which um, so I don't see the 20 on here huh interesting this thing actually looks what is this is it UV yeah it's UV okay so Now we'll go in here. Come on. The drop down menu isn't coming up. Oh, there we go. Product catalog. Okay, so LEDs. We have Cree, Osram, Nichia, whatever. Uh, Samsung. You have the drivers. Interesting that you can buy the drivers with and rule. Let's see what that looks like. No product found. Not available. Okay. So for three and six and twelve uh, LED. So I mean you could get really creative here. So the Cree is going to be here's the seventy. Here's the seventy point two. Here's the fifty point two. Hmm. Fifty point three. I think that this one here is probably in a lot of flashlights. The other one I was thinking maybe might be in a lot of flashlights too. Would be uh, one of these. Uh, the five one nine. But the Cree looks like either the most copied or the most common. We'll see what other ones. So let's see what Samsung has. Come on. Maybe they got nothing. Uh, and then Ashram. Kind of green. Greenish. Um, soul. Uh, this one here really looks like what's in one of my lights. Uh, except for, I think, let me see if I can remove this. It's got a drop on it. There are one, two, three. So it's not the same. There's several slices in there, more than, than what they have. Let me get this thing back in here. I gotta stop taking these things apart. <laughs> and then end up damaging them. Um, but it looks very similar. There's like an extra, uh, Piece. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so we got Cree, Osmaram, Soul, Samsung, LMP. I don't know what LMP is. Oh, look at that. Okay. So that also 
could be uh, one of those um, ones. Let me zoom back out. Uh, yeah, these are pretty small. Three volt, five amp. Let's see. So I would say this one would probably have quite a bit of throw. Um, so it's an LMP W5050SQ3. Lord have mercy. Okay. Uh, let's check that again. They only offer that one. And what's this one? This one looks very similar to that other one okay we have the G chain or whatever you pronounce it if there is anything there pages and openings so there's probably nothing and then underneath other we have a UV so we got flashlights LEDs drivers batteries uh, 21700s. What's the cheapest one? $7. Chargers, glass lenses, O rings, reflectors, gaskets, bezels, battery tubes, switch, button, diffuser, holster, magnet, handle, remote switch. You know, kinds of stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking maybe order up some LEDs maybe not off of this site maybe maybe I don't know order like I, I would go so if I was gonna get on here in order a flashlight I think that what I would do if I could find it um, is it maybe the C series I would probably go with one of these I don't know if I would pick that one, but and I would go with the SFT40. It's not letting me select it, is it? I'd go with the SFT40 and 5,000 Kelvin. Uh. We don't want linear, five amps, twelve groups, buck. Eight amps, twelve groups, buck. I mean, I don't know what would, which one would be important. I think probably, uh, with well, the price is currently twenty one thirty three. Let's see what this one is. Went up three bucks. So this one didn't really increase it. And then uh, I'd go ahead and take one of their batteries just for the hell of it. So you'd be at twenty five sixteen just for that. So um, and it's kind of a nice flashlight. Thing is, uh, you know, you're gonna have to charge it externally. But if I was gonna order from them, I'd probably order a flashlight or two or something, you know, first. Or maybe I would just go in and get an S series and just keep it really, really basic. Get like a an S2 or maybe I would get an S8 you know uh, $17 and 12 groups and battery and $21 I mean if this thing had onboard charging I mean holy crap that would be a deal so I, I probably need to order a couple of these with different LEDs or order one and try a bunch of different LEDs and, and go from there. So anyway, um, that's just kind of my thoughts on this whole deal here.